Hello again. I uh, didn't get a lot done today. I uh, got all the hoses off and everything cleaned up. So we just got to remove the shifter and the unit there from the bottom. Uh, of course, then we got to pull the main shaft. I didn't take it all the way out the last time. I just pulled it out far enough and had it on a sawhorse. But my uh, expert partner coming tomorrow will decide all that. I have been looking for uh, this right lever. Of course, it's broken. And, you know, obviously it's supposed to be like that. But I just put this little piece of aluminum uh, pipe on it, conduit, and it's been like this forever. Uh, I looked for a new lever, can't seem to find one, and according to Corvey's Oliver, there's a difference between the right side and the left side. So if somebody's got a right side lever, uh, might be interested but it's been like that for a long long time I can do a better fix on it maybe now if I don't find a lever again uh, ready to go I guess tomorrow morning with the big move uh, like I said the other day I got my parts I kind of misspoke I only have one knob which is the shift knob these are the two rubbers for the hydraulic levers and, of course, the rubber for the gear shift. Uh, hopefully we can wrestle them on. But uh, other than that, I think I'm done for the day. I'm going to take a break. So we'll make another show maybe tomorrow when we get going. Okay, see ya. Just another little footnote here uh, about this little plate. Obviously you loosen these up and get this like this. My hydroelectric bar is kind of in the way, but you just get that nice and flat. So it slides right under that flange and grabs the two springs, of course, or holds them up here in the housing. And then you just, just lift both up together. So, that's something we'll do tomorrow. Okay, again, we'll see ya. Bye. Well, I did one more little job. I got the knobs off the two uh, hydraulic levers. Again, this is the broken one. Uh, put a little heat on them. A pair of vice grips come right off. I also got the shift knob off. That was with a pipe wrench. It didn't take much effort at all. Didn't even uh, score it or anything with the pipe wrench. Got a new one, but who knows what I'll put on. I'm assuming he had to take the knobs off to slide these new rubbers over, but maybe that's wrong. I don't know. Same way with the gear shift rubber. Uh, I'm assuming that had to come down the gear shift. So the knobs had to come off, I'm thinking. But they're off and didn't break nothing, so that's a good thing. We'll maybe get some heavy duty stuff tomorrow going.